All right, let's look at the final example here that you would have tried on your own. So we've got our points here, negative three, negative one. So I'm gonna call this x1, y1. And the second point I'm gonna call x2, y2. Now I've already written the formula out for us. So we were going to substitute the numbers into the correct place. You wanna make sure you put that long radical sign. So x2 is four. So in my brackets, I have four minus, as that's part of the formula, x1 is negative three. So I plug in negative three, close the brackets, squared, plus, open brackets, y squared, or not y squared, the second y, y2 is negative seven, minus is part of that formula, y1 is negative one, close the brackets and square. So you're gonna wanna do the subtraction within the brackets first, remember. So four minus negative three is seven. So we have seven squared. If it's a positive number, I don't need to put a bracket around that. Plus negative seven minus negative one, these two become positive, so you've got negative six. Now because it's a negative number, I need to put brackets for the squared because the squared applies to the negative sign as well. Now let's square each of these. So seven squared is 49 plus negative six squared is 36. Now we're going to add those together, square root of 85. Now there are, um, you don't have to simplify 85. There are no perfect square factors. So no, no, no perfect squares are divisible into 85. So this would be the exact value. If you did put square root of 85 in your calculator, you would get 9.22.